Miles, what's going on there? Some seagulls right there. Hey, I want to just make sure that you're forewarned after uh, I'm done with this little spleel here about the white rappers. They're spreading. We actually live in an area where there's a lot of little white rapper kids and people, and when you grow up, you're going to run into them. And I just, uh, you know, they're, they're just, they're silly. It's like, you know, most of them just sound silly. They look silly. They act silly. They, you know, they're renditions of music that's already not what I would consider good. It's silly. The entirety of what they do and who they are and how they do what they do is silly. So be, watch out for them, Miles. Don't be fooled by the sideways hats, the big old baggy pants, them grabbing their balls, the, uh, uh, yeah, I know that, and like broken English, and yeah, boy, and, uh, the ba 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 linga ba ba linga you know, and all that nonsense. Take it from a brother or sister, but not from a white rapper. There's nothing worse than someone impersonating a group that's as energetic and as eclectic as the African-American crowd. And when you're white and you're doing that, you're doing rap stuff, and you look stupid, watch out for Miles. Don't, don't, don't fraternize or get involved. They're just going to lie to you and say silly nonsense that you're going to want to forget anyways. It's just going to be a segment of your life that you're just not even going to want to deal with. You know what I'm saying? All right.